Tere. Welcome back, everyone, to my Armchair Travel Adventures as I continue to live like a local in Estonia. Well, I figured I haven't watched a foreign film for ages, so I thought it would be a good time to experience one of Estonian films and came across the one today. It was November, released in 2017. It's adapted from the book Rehi Pap. I have to look for the pronunciation. I couldn't quite find it. But the novel's author was Andras Kivirak. This film was submitted to the Academy Awards for Foreign Language Film. So it was Estonia submission. And it also won Best Cinematography at the Tribeca Film Festival in, in New York for its category. Great film to watch, very well received. So here is my personal review. <laughs> November was shot in black and white and was set in 19th century pagan Estonia. I lasted about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes of the movie before I had to tap out. <laughs> but to my defense, here's why. I couldn't find the English subtitles to the movie, so I could only find the original film that was, the dialogue was in Estonia. So not only did I not read about what the movie was about prior, so I had some context, I'm relying only on the visual narration of the story. So you don't know what to expect. I'm like at the edge of my seat, like, why he looking so? What? <laughs> What's around the corner? I was like, okay. So apparently, you know, if you do read about it, there's some werewolves, there's some, you know, mythical beings all blended in. So it has a bit of surreal, unsetting feeling to the movie. I'm a little nervous already talking about it. It's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, because I didn't know what to expect, like there's certain things that kind of happen and you try to follow what is, you know, what's going on. At one point, I swear, a cow was stolen by something that looks like a life-size version of the utility knife. It wrapped the chain around the cow and was taking it through the air and dropped it on the doorstep of a farmer. I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> So, you know, you're trying to follow what's going on and someone's trying to steal clothes and, 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 you, and you're, she's stealing clothes from, I guess, her mistress. She's this one, one lady was a, a maid and she's trying to steal clothes and the, the mistress is sleeping right there. And I'm like, you know, Fridgey, you wake up, I catch you <laughs> stealing. I'm sorry. We talk to our TV screens when, you know, we're watching certain films like that, like, like the actors could actually hear us talking. Anyways, so one woman's maid steals the clothes to take to this other girl. And I guess she only had a ring to give her as payment for this dress that she was stealing from her. And the woman took the ring. I'm like, that's all the money you give me? Well, this is all the dress you're going to get. And she like rips the dress and gives it back to her. I'm like, okay. And so you're kind of following along that way. But then... That, remember that inanimate object that we talked about, that utility knife with the multiple arms? I swear to you, it starts talking. At this point, <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> See, I'm a little bit of a jumpy person to begin with. Them kind of movies, yeah, in shot in black and white, I'm by myself and I don't know what to expect. Mm -mm. That's not a good combination for me. However, if anyone else is brave enough, Please, it looks like it would have been a beautiful movie. There were some lovely shots, especially in the beginning when there was like a white wolf in like this open field area that's covered in snow. So those contrasts are quite beautiful. Now, if the goal of the movie was to scare you, 
applause. Job well done. But there was a love element, though, that I was able to see before the movie, like before I tapped out of the movie, rather. So the same peasant girl was trying to buy that dress before. So she is in love with a farmer boy. So you'd see her, you know, watching where he is. You know that love, young love, watching where he is in the, you know, in the woods and sneaking glances at him. And, and, you know, he must know her too because, you know, one time he comes up behind her and whispers something to her. Anyway, so that's all well and good. This young love. I loved it. Now, all of a sudden, a new girl comes on the scene. And you could tell she's from a very wealthy, aristocratic family. And she bold as brass. I think they're standing in front of his church. And she sees the same farmer boy. And she gives him the look like, ooh, honey, who is you? <laughs> you know the friends, Joey from Friends look? Like, how you doing? And so he, she's staring at him. And he sees her and, you know, he's staring back at her. And the peasant, the main peasant girl is having none of it. <laughs> like, that's her man. And I read in a review later on that uh, she's willing to die for love. So, you know, homegirl's serious. <laughs> anyway, you know, from what I watched, it's actually a beautiful film. And it hit the right notes, you know, for it being unsettling, whimsical. I guess it's supposed to be a horror film. So it hits all those notes. And so if anyone's, as I said, brave enough to watch it, please do. It is online. So today for my armchair travel adventure, I went to the movies and saw the Estonian film November. <laughs> Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining me, Atta, and I will see you tomorrow. Nagamist. Goodbye.